Welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scarsh is sweet in the Ultra League right now. We have our Chris Elliott on the lead. We're faced up against a Giratina Altered. And we don't mind this. We definitely don't mind this. Psychic versus Ghost, but you know we don't mind. Chris is different. Offloading that Moonblast. Let's see what they want to do here. Okay, big damage. And they possibly will want to shield the second Moonblast. Alright, they throw a Dragon Claw that tickles. Okay. Now, if they shield this, we will swap out to Reggie. They do shield. There we go. Off to Reggie. And now they swap into Nido Queen. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to offload that Focus Blast. And uh, they're going to build up. They're obviously going to offload Earth Power on us. This is not a Shadow Nido Queen. And Reggie still is thick. So this is not going to do much damage. Yep. Decent damage, but you know, you know how Reggie's built by now. And now we're throwing the second focus blast, and they will shortly be reaching their second earth power, which will obviously take us down. And that will be fine. We will look to come back in and get some energy. So we can come in with Swamp and grab a lot of energy here as we can get a full mud shot down. So they can throw what they want to throw. It's going to be the Earth Power. We showed that up, preserving health on our Shadow Swamper. And now what do they want to do? Okay, they throw their charge move immediately with the Giratina. That's fine. Just a Dragon Claw. It's absolutely fine. Okay, full send in the EQ here. No need to bait. Let's see what they want to do. And let it go. Bye bye, Giratina. And in the back is Talonflame. Okay, and then they decide to top left because they realize that's GG's. Nicely done. Okay, moving on into the next one. Let's go. Faced up against the talent flame. We don't like to see this. They're definitely not here. Let's go. We swap it into Reggie still. See what they want to do. Alright, they're gonna throw the flame charge here. So absolutely fine, I'm gonna let it go. Cool. And now we're gonna offload the zap. I'm expecting them to shield it. Let's see what they wanna do. Yep, they do shield it. And get their attack lowered. They're trying to go for the farm down, but they panic. And we can shield here. And that is what we're gonna do. Incinerate takes a while to register, so we should be able to get to the zap, and we do. Are we getting the second shield here? Let's see. Yep, the double shield. That's absolutely fine. And they get their attack dropped again. Okay. Now we're coming with Swamper. They are unshielded. Alright then. We're shielding this up. It's the fly. What do they want to do? They're sticking around. This Hydro is going to do big damage. Let's go. You already know. Bye bye, Talent Flame. What's in the back? All right. Polyrath. That's absolutely fine. You're going to throw their charge move before we can get to the EQ. It's the Skulls. And they don't drop our attack, which is perfect. So now, offload that EQ. You already know. Big damage. And can we get that Hydro off? No, we can't can't unfortunately okay I see all right and it's a Amphros in the back that is fine for us it's not even shadow so this is looking good this is looking good it's gonna be tight and they're running trailblaze all right throwing that moon blast Two moon blasts should do the job in conjunction with the cycle cuts. And then Polyrath is dry on energy. So we should be able to just make it. So offloading that moon blast. All right, cycle cut down, nice. And now we just need to get 
to the grass knots and we do and that's looking to be ggs nicely done all right taking that w let's move on into the next one let's go all right face up against the dragon okay we don't mind this but all we have to do is just be careful of potential catches. All right, so they're gonna throw here. All right, Dragon Claw tickles. All right, so we just wait and throw. And we're baiting, expecting to get the shield. We do get the shield. All right. Now they're going to throw another Dragon Claw. We're going to show this one up. So this is where the pressure comes in on them. So they might want to catch or they might just stick around to double shield. There they go. They tried to catch on Jellicent. And their Jellicent meets our Reggie Steel. All right, then. Shadow Ball. Yeah, not phased. And now we can just offload that big boy zap cannon. Let's go. Big damage okay gonna throw another shadow ball and reggie's still still not gonna be phased and then we're just gonna build up and offload a another zap cannon and then they should be bringing back dragonite so gonna have to see what dragonite wants to do because if he superpowers here he's gonna have to look to dip out but instead they bring in cobolion so they reveal their third which is fine all right and now we meet them with our shadow swamp but they swap out into their dragonite so now their dragonite is locked in here so that's much better for us we don't have to worry about potential catch they shield that they're gonna get to another dragon claw we're gonna shield and then we can just throw the moon blast and take out their dragonite and then it should be set up for swamper in the end game to one shot the cobolion and that will be looking to be a gg here so let's see if that's the way it plays out they can't farm us down with double kick even from this health range <laughs> if they try to do that we will get off quite a few charge moves so it's up to them what they want to do but the win con pretty much is, if anything, to double kick down, but they don't. They throw the charge move here. That's going to make things easier for us, one put, because now they're just in Hydro range. So, they get off a Sacred Sword there, and we have enough energy to throw the Hydro, which will take them out. And that's looking to be GG's. They needed to stack all their energy for our Swamper, but they threw on our crest. GG's, over to the next one. All right, then. Faced up against a Stunfisk. Okay, you don't see Stunfisk that often anymore in the Ultra League. But let's see how we're going to vibes here. All right, throwing the grass knot. Let's go. All right, All right they're gonna throw here. Normally they throw EQ here. This trainer decides to go for rock slide. That's absolutely fine, that tickles. And now we're just stacking up. They're gonna throw another rock slide, that's cool. Tickles, and now we're just gonna throw the grass knots back to back. Constantly, they will be adding up, as you can see. Let's see what they want to do here. Do they want to throw EQ now? They do. Okay, that puts us into the red. We're stacked, and now we throw, and they catch it. Nice catch. That's on to Giratina. So we're going to build up now for Moonblast, because we want to chip and dip. They most likely will shield this. They do shield it. We swap out into our Reggie still. So looking good here. They are shield down. We still have two shields intact. And on top of that, Reggie still doesn't care about Giratina too much. So absolutely fine. Off loading the zap. All right, lowers the attack. Let's 
go. So now they're going to tickle us even more. Shadow Sneak tickles. As you can see, that baby does any damage. So they decide to dip out into the Stun Fist. They can throw EQ here if they want. We're going to let it go. We're not phased. As you can see, Reggie still is a bulky boy and we can still get to the Focus Blast, which will take out their Stun Fist. So, still fine, still looking good, still in the driver's seat. And we're looking to swap out into our Swamper, as you can see. There we go. All right, then. So the Giratina is gonna throw the Dragon Claw, no problem. We're just stacking up here. And now we throw the Hydro to bait them. So if we get the shield here, we're looking pretty good. And we do get the shield there. Let's go. So let's make use of our shield seeing as we still have two. So one used here. And then we can just stack up and offload the EQ. This will be getting rid of the Giratina. So bye bye Giratina. And then in the back, they got Jellison for us. Okay, let's get to that EQ. You already know, this will be inflicting big damage. Nicely done. All right, we tried to swap out and catch there. It wasn't successful and they get a farm down on our Reggie Steel. So we're gonna have to be careful how we play this one. Time is coming up, this is looking good. All right, so they throw and we make use of our shield here and then we should just be able to offload our Hydra. We do win CMP, so no worries there. And then the timer should be up. And we still have two Pokemon. So they're gonna allow them to get off their charge move here, but Cresselia still has decent energy and look at that. So we just about scrape it there. That was very close. Closer than we thought it was gonna be. All right, moving on into the last one though. All right, Jellicent once again. We had Jellicent in the end game of the last battle and now we have it at the start of this one. So let's go. All right, throwing that grass knots. Two grass knots don't take out Jellicent. Jellicent's pretty bulky, decent bulk on it. All right, but two shadow balls will take us out. So they should be throwing the first one here. Okay, does decent damage even to the bulky Cresselia. All right, now we're second, throwing that second grass knot. As you can see, doesn't take them out, puts them into the red should be offloading but they over farm they get a bit too greedy which is a problem because they're gonna have to shield and they do and then we swap instantly into our reggie still and they can throw what they want to throw no need to shield it should be shadow ball is the shadow ball as you can see reggie still not phased and they're going to be throwing in another charge move here which is absolutely fine no problem reggie still is a third shield and now they come in with Mandibuzz. So they're obviously very weak to Reggie still. We're offloading that Zap Cannon. Big damage and lowers their attack. Perfect. All right, we're not going to shield. They throw the Dark Pulse. That's absolutely fine. That does no damage. Reggie still doesn't care about that. And we get off another Zap Cannon here. So let's see what they want to do. Do they fancy shielding? They do. So they have no shields. We still have two. So as you can see, we are comfortable in the driver's seat. All right, now we swap out into our Cresselia. And we're still not gonna shield. We're gonna let this go. As you can see what the plan is here to sweep the end game with Shadow Swamper with two shields. So let's see what the vibe is here. All right, making use of our first shield. Area lace, okay, absolutely fine. Just stacking energy. Throw that hydro. All right. They just about survive and they swap out. Okay, they thought we were gonna throw back to back or something, that is not the plan. So we get a full farm down the top left, GG's. Thank you guys for coming by once again. Peace.